Hi, welcome to my Arch Linux B GNOME. It's the version of 19 July, you see, and the 10th version of it. Now, the GNOME version has been completely themed and tweaked and changed. So I do think it requires an uh, additional video. Also because we've just made, just an hour ago, a new package for the issues with keyboard. So if you are on GNOME, and if you're experiencing these things, this is your video. So this is an, a clean installation from the ISO on uh, Seed Host or SourceForge, meaning this is actually, uh, what I say, two months time of updates, uh, two months, two weeks of time, even less. So this is the new one from us, the new one from us. This is what we're gonna talk about, about what this package will bring and some fonts and all the rest is arch. Okay, let's do a simple update as always. You can start from anywhere really. So if one ISO is not working for you, you go to the browser, you go to, and then there's some things to remember, seat host, maybe to bookmark, seat host, Arco Linux, and Google will provide, no, Bing will provide, Bike is the good one. Master was the old one. Bike is the new one. So, okay, that's the good one. Now there are um, elements in here, so uh, folders in here. So you can move up and delete this thing and then be one level up and so on. One level up. And in here we have the AAG, so the Arca Linux Auditing Group. So this is the, you can beta test these guys and they're available now, but officially they'll be there on the 20th. So that's um, available, that's there, and we're up to date in the meantime. And we have here the PKS YOA, last thing, check if anything from the AOR is new. No, there's nothing new, but there are stuff that's out of date. Means that the very, very, very last version is not on AOR yet, but doesn't mean anything is broken, just means that the maintainer of the AUR package, which is, which is nobody from Arch Linux, which is nobody from Arco Linux, but some guy on the AUR Arch user repository needs to update it. But he's maybe on holiday, he's sick and so on. So it can be, it, it's working as it is. So never mind, basically. So the video is about um, something special that came in. You should scroll up actually to see this almost close to window. Arco Linux config GNOME kit. The, the, the way GNOME or any desktop looks is because of the teaming and the tweaking we do. When we build an ISO, we put stuff in the ETC scale and when, when you make an account, like my name, Eric, a new account is created and a new folder is created. It's called Eric. And inside, what's inside all of this? Well, the content of ETC scale. That's going to happen when you do an ISO, any of the distributions, right? Now, the thing is, we tend to theme and tweak a lot. And every time you do a scale command, you're actually going to copy paste over the things from etc scale. In the GNOME department, that might be not so prudent in the sense that GNOME and Budgie, by the way, because Budgie is relying on GNOME, has a super dense, super filled uh, database, which is called dconf and user. And what's in there is what you define it should be. But what, what it also contains, and that's the bummer of it, is the keyboard. So if you gonna copy paste it over and it really succeeds because sometimes it does not succeed, it's because of the fact that it's dconf user, there's a video about that, me showing you guys even if you do a scale, you still have the old one. It happens that you still have the old one, not the one from ETC scale. Okay, but let's assume you did a successful copy paste of this file, then your keyboard is set wrong again. Let's talk keyboards. Go to your settings, this thing, and let's have a look. It's up here, region. It's always gonna be Belgian again. Why? Well, because I have uh, the file here and I put it on Belgian and everybody else in the world will have 
the import source as Belgium, which is of course annoying, right? And we don't want frustrations. So here is our next best thing. We do a scale, right? We copy paste everything over. The new thing is copy paste over. There is a new thing, which is gonna be looking a little bit different. Now, maybe let's hope um, that's the case. Let's compare, let's be paranoia and let's see if the actual new deconf that we created just now, an hour ago, is on your system with a scale, right? Drag it over here and see the difference. 23, 23, yes, look at the date and the hour. This one is an, has another hour than the other one. So it's not copy pasted over. It was not been replaced with a scale. This point in time, the hours are exactly the same. Now we can rest assured that's okay. All right. So replace again, just to be sure. Now I'm afraid I need to log off and log out. So means I have to cut the video in two. Um, maybe, I don't know if we can actually see the settings already. Let's see. No, we can't. So the deconf need to be reloaded. And for that, I need to log off. So I have to cut the video in two. I don't see any other choice. So next up is we boot up and we see what the difference is with this new package that we delivered. Okay.